popping out of your mom is like real estate. It's all about location, location, location. I popped out here. Like anybody brown, we popped out here. We made it. We're the rappers that made it. What's wild is I never even knew how the whole X-Men origin story went down. I, like, it's crazy because we know nothing about our parents and our parents know nothing about us. Like you'll be like, Dad, what's your favorite color? Stanford. You're like, what? No. Like, no like, I want to know more about you. Why do you want to know about me? Get into Stanford. You're like, ah. Oh. And I think, I think it's just that like immigrants love secrets. Right, like they love them. They love bottling them up deep down inside of themselves and then just unleashing them on you 30 years later when it's no longer relevant. <laughs> so you'll be sitting there like, what, mom's a ninja, dad's a communist? Why are you telling me this right now? <laughs> I feel like every conversation with my dad is like an M. Night Shyamalan movie <laughs> where it's just 90 minutes of buildup to no payoff. And I'm like, <laughs> I say, Andy? So my dad marries my mom. They come to the states they have me in Davis, California, but <laughs> My mom, she has to go back to India to finish up med school. So the first eight years of my life, it was just me and my dad. It was just the two of us, just two brown dudes trying to make it in America, minus all the unconditional love. I gotta be real. Uh, you gotta be real. Brown love is very conditional. Like, you can't hear this in the photo, but he's like, you better get all A's. You can't hear that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, let's be real. I grew up here, like Pioneer, Holmes. I like, I grew up here. Yeah. But, but, but Davis was like super white, like kind of, I see, it's kind of like tonight. Um, <laughs> right, like roll call was a problem, it was a big deal for like a lot of us. Right, like what was, what was what's your name? Jossera. Jossera, okay, what would you get during roll call? Um, Jazariah. Jazariah? Yep. Yeah, I would get all like Hanson Minaja, <laughs> Sahan Minha, <laughs> Saddam Hussein. <laughs> it's my English teacher, I'm like, dude, my name's not Saddam, what's your name, dude? Bijou. Bijou, what would you get? A blank stare. A blank stare? <laughs> it's weird, like, so I'm the only brown kid at my school, my dad's the only brown guy at work, and so in a weird way, that brings us together, and we have to do everything together, which sucks, because if you're with an immigrant father, you have to try to understand them, and I still can't understand some of you guys to this day. Like, there's uncles here tonight, and none of you guys are smiling. Like, I don't get it, you're gonna die, <laughs> fucking laugh. Like, you're not laughing, why aren't you laughing? You guys are always stressed and always tired. Like, you would wake up any immigrant father from like a 12 hour nap, and they'd still be like, ah! <laughs> Why do I have to pay taxes? You're like, Jesus. <laughs> we'd do everything, we'd have to go to the grocery store together. And I remember we'd be in the grocery store, and my, we'd be walking through the aisles. My dad would like pick up yogurt. I try to understand, I'm like, like ah, yogurt. <laughs> or like milk, just like, ah, dude. <laughs> and I look at him, I'd be like, oh man, like dad hates yogurt. <laughs> He, he, he hates milk. But I, I get that look now, and it's that, you know, life is tough, and sometimes you don't know what you're doing. And he's my age, he has a little kid, and I'm not making his life any easier. I'm like picking up soda in the aisles. I'm like, ah! And he's like, Hassan, don't do that. I'm like, I'm a kid, I'm gonna live forever. And then I would trip on my Velcro shoes, and I would drop the soda in the aisle, and it would explode. And then my dad would do what most brown parents do to this day. He'd check to see if the coast is clear. <laughs> And he slapped the shit out of me, and I love it, thank you. Thank you, Pockets, for acknowledging that. And for the liberal white guilt, look, immigrants aren't gonna hit their children the way you guys do. Americans hit their kids on the arm and bruise their body. Immigrants slap you across the face and bruise your soul. It's Guantanamo of the mind. And I know some of you guys are like, no, hey, no, this is Davis, okay? I listen to NPR, Ira Glass says, children are our future. You know what, have you seen the show on NBC called The Slap? There's a real show on NBC. There's a real show on NBC about a white kid that gets slapped at a birthday party. Are you fucking kidding? 13 episodes for this kid? Are you kidding me? Do you know when brown kids get slapped at birthday parties? Every brown birthday party.